Hey guys and welcome to another ETS video. I hosted you guys in yesterday's stream. What do you want to see for Sunday's video? As I didn't get one done on Saturday, my bad. You guys hands down said you want ETS. I was shocked. It was between ETS and ATS. Here's ETS. So we're doing the heavy haul. It is a big bell from Manchester to Amsterdam. It is a modded trailer from ETS... 2.lt, I believe. Fairly easy to find. But let's hit drive. Well, I know for a fact I'm going to need to do this. Typical British weather. Typical British weather indeed. So we'll get the old beast fired up. I love the sound of this truck. Uh, let's get some lights on, some wipers. As it's really. It's coming down real good. Uh, let's hit two, and yeah, we'll leave that axle down, I guess. And here's our bow. Unfortunately, it's going to need a polish. I'm not too sure what's up with it. The lights there. And you may see some add-ons on the truck. We got working beacons. Yes. I'm still hunting around for some decent stuff for this. Let's back it up. Helps if I'm actually lined up, doesn't it? Oh my. Wow. And hit T. There we go, guess it can fall down and supposedly be a couple that's a very tight connection there. It does look like it's got a crack in it or something. Foreign trailer. Now, does this trailer have working steering? I'm not sure if it does. Yes, they've made it have working steering. A lot of modders have embraced that. Now, this is 45 tons worth of bow. These type of bows are extremely heavy. Well, let's get inside. Now I've heard had a few people ask about the sound pack I use for the truck. It is a sound called well, sound pack called Christian Bomb. Uh, well, he is the author of it. He does a lot of absolutely amazing sounds, and Scania's seem to be sort of something he specialises in, if you like. And. Uh, it's the deep one, I believe it is, I've got of his. Oh yeah, it's, the trailer's now got turnable axles. I'm used to this trailer not having that feature. So we'll set in... It's a 400, uh, 434 miles. In theory, it won't take that long. Uh, it's... big chunk is going across the water. Which is not too bad, not too bad at all. And I need to sort out my controller because it keeps on drifting. And typical traffic lights. Well, I guess while we're waiting, we'll see you guys when it's good to go, I guess. Well, that didn't take as long. Helps if you indicate. Actually, I'm going to need to get right over here. I think I never checked for fuel. Yeah, we've got plenty of fuel. The nice. This is very, very wet and miserable weather. Now, I've been looking around for different trailer packs, and there is one that's always caught my eye. It's got a big caterpillar dump truck, but you've got to be careful with those ones. Uh, that one in particular has always had real bad collisions, and reading the comments, it does. But yet again, unfortunately, it sucks. Way. Get a bit of engine brake going. 
I don't think these are jake brakes in the European stuff. I think they are engine braking. Meaning it would just drop down a gear and hold it. I was actually kind of surprised. A lot of people wanted this. It really was. Come on. Power down. One more. Fuel economy going through the floor. I think we can get over. <laughs> Can't really see. Yeah, sweet. We got our beacons on. I believe the wipers are on flat out. Yes. Could almost do with them going slightly quicker. TNT! Nice! I like seeing the, that type of traffic stuff. Wow, I can't believe this is how it has been in my area recently in the UK. Wet. Very wet. Which is good, we've not had any rain for a while. Hey, sweet G-Wagon. And as a matter of fact, I can probably think about moving over. In fact, I should be moving over. Another G-Wagon. Jeez, are you guys going to let me in? Or am I going to have to just kind of force my way in? What time of day is it? Mm, rush hour. You can sit behind me, buddy. <laughs> I'm coming over. Uh, he did not want to move over. Well, yeah, get back, just forming behind me. There it is. Going on by. To cut back in. <laughs> Jeez. So we are flat out right here. Pedal to the metal. Crazy. Hopefully we'll, we'll see some sh sunshine once we get into... The... Uh, Denmark. Is it Denmark we're going? I can't remember. Jeez, I can't remember. Amsterdam. Jeez. After we get to Amsterdam. And right now we'll be on the limiter. So we'll put cruise on. That'll drop us up into 12. And we'll just cruise on by now. Good old wet weather. Great weather for ducks, this. Way easy. So the live stream I did yesterday, that was a good one. Uh, if you guys haven't seen it, the archive is up. Yes! I have actually put the archive live really quickly. I did that just mainly because I know well, people would want to see that. And yeah, it, it was good. It was Farming Simulator 2009. It was very nice having... and playing that again. It's been many, many, many years. The game engine's 10 years old or something like that. It's knocking on a bit. Alright, we're coming off here, I believe, so we'll drop out of cruise control. Heard a bit of engine braking out on, that will bleed down the speed. Let's switch that off. Unfortunately, the weight going downhill does work to a disadvantage. We'll beat speed, some speed up, but I actually want to accelerate to get up this hill and to maintain speed up on the motorway. Well, the dual carriageway, A road. Get across to this lane. Actually, I didn't need to, so we'll go back. My bad. Couldn't quite see on the GPS. This was a service. I thought it was another off ramp or something. I've got my lights on, right? Yeah, jeez. Not very bright. I've, uh, I've not put it in yet, but I downloaded a realistic truck light pack. I got that for eight, ATS recently. I've been playing a lot of that, as you guys know. So I want to try it on this, see if it's any better. Because the lights in ATS or ETS are pretty good. ATS, they're shocking. They really are. Absolutely shocking. Of course, with pro mods and stuff like that, we have the cat's eyes in the road and the reflections of stuff. It, it, it's a lot clearer. I will 
drop engine brake on again because this turn will be downhill and we'll need to slow down as much as possible. And he's a bit breaking. And we'll get a photo sort of car coming this way then. So we've got two trucks and a car. Two cars that are the same there by the looks of it. But they've gone the same way. Which of course we're going to be the slowest vehicle in this chain. Scanning power, still haven't painted it yet. Making money back, we've only got 19,939. Oh, she's grumbling. Most definitely grumbling coming up here. <laughs> We're gonna get a nice little tail back. I'm actually gonna look into making my own skin for this truck. I'm not happy with the design so I want to make my own. Leveled up, beautiful. Once we get to a good bit of road I'm actually going to go into the pause menu, something that I don't show too much in the uh, truck sim, but it's something that I, it's one of the most parts I really enjoy and that's the micromanaging, well, micromanagement of your company. So once we make this corner and around the next bend I'll show you guys, trying to build up as much speed as possible here, without going too crazy. If we can't encounter any more hills. I should get a bit of a break into that, because I'm coming way too hot into that corner for my taste. There we go. I like how the road textures are in Pro Mods, it's awesome. Okay, hit escape. Now with Pro Mods I'm just going to throw it out there, that is no... Island yet. Had someone say, can you do a trip to Ireland? Yeah. There's nothing there. Alrighty, as I was saying, unfortunately the toilet decided to get flushed as well. Yeah! There is no island. So, promos haven't added it in quite yet. When they do, trust me. I'm actually looking at possibly having a base over there. But what I wanted to quickly do is go to company manager, truck driver, and... Uh, I don't even know how to pronounce his name. Kaz. Kaz. Ah, Kaz for short. Uh, okay, he's working on this stuff here. To get us most profit, and then we'll do fuel last. So, he's going okay. Back to driving. The reason you guys are here. It seems the weather in the game since the last update is definitely acting weird. It brightens up very quickly. If you go into the menu system more, if I saved right now, load it back into game, it could be beautiful weather out. It's very weird, to say the least. Just put the wipers on into men. No need to have them flat out. As we're pretty much going now, flat out. I love that turbo whistle. Ah, oh. I want to kind of get out of the Scania because the Mercedes heavy haul truck looks so much nicer compared to this. But at the same time, the noises that come out of this truck are really nice. So we want to go under the bridge and then turn right. Try not to stop all the way, kept a little bit of momentum going. Looks like we've got a rigid dumb body following us. That'll be the next thing they need to add into the game is them. But hey, a little bit out of time. I 
Oh, they can't be locked when you're going too fast. I was hoping, whoa, tailgating cop. I was hoping that would actually help getting up the hill, but I guess not. And I'm flat out. <laughs> Absolutely flat out here. This bal most definitely weighs a few tons, to say the least. And I don't think I can fit through that. Well, maybe we can. Perfect. Of course, this thing's slow at getting going, but it's slow geared. It's to be expected. It gets her. Like any good trucker, got a cup of coffee. Cool cup of coffee. There we go. I'm over here because I think we're going to be having a right turn soon. Not too sure. I can't remember what key it is to change on the uh, PDA. Not PDA, the uh, GPS on the window. I've got my stream deck, so I plan to map some keys out for Euro Truck and ATS. They're pretty much the same for the most part. It'll be like drop axle, um, maybe engine brake toggles, beacons, stuff like that. I don't want to add to the stream deck. How am I liking the stream deck for those of you that are wanting to know? I've had it since th Thursday right now. So I've had about, honestly, two days of heavy use on it. And honestly, way loan instant. Oh, we don't like that. I got taken out, but he must have had a job because we've made 25k. Well, not 25, we've got 25k. Yeah, after having a few days with it now, I love it. It definitely needs some major improvements on some stuff, uh, mainly modifier keys. It doesn't like using shift or control, stuff like that. Same with Alt. But apart from that, it's awesome. It's a real nice piece of kit. It's, it's on the pricey side. But if you look at the software and the build quality of it, the actual unit itself, I can think it, I think it's justified. I should have split these lanes. Power, 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 power. go wide around here. I don't need to do this, but the AI traffic, considering it's such a pain in my rear end, as you guys can see right there, and that car come out there. Although, SES did try to do a good job on the AI, they still need sorting. The, of course, I've got a mod in that makes them drive more aggressively. So, could that be the issue there? Yes. I also think SES do need to solve that because it does it anyway. Uh, it limits 30 miles an hour here. Rain's picked back up too. Look at that trailer turn. Magical. 
That's so cool. Now hopefully, it's not going to be like this when we reach our destination. Hopefully not. So, we'll hit enter. We need to go to... I think it's here. I'm actually going to look, because I may have got that wrong. I don't want to be a fool. I would have got that wrong. <laughs> that doesn't know where it's going. Why would it send me there? Surely it would be quicker to just go down into the UK and across. I don't get it sometimes. Embark. So this is going to take a little while to figure itself out. So once we get there, we shall see you on the opposite side. Alrighty, we are back, and yes, it is still raining over here. Quite badly by the looks of it too. Full lights, full wipers. We've done our walk around, the truck looks good. Put our beacons on. Heck, that look awesome. Yeah, proper job. Let's get it going. So, the GPS tells you to go straight down here and then a few turns. I always go this way. Makes more sense. Now, I can turn real tight with this trailer, so it's not too bad. But I don't get why you would want to go all the way around there when you can just do this. I mean, it's just one straight shot. I don't know. What, two bends? Well, the other one would have been two as well, I guess, but... But well, you can get some speed up coming along here. Probably as long as it is short. To be completely honest now, it is night time. Not particularly best pleased with it being night time. So once we find a rest area, we've only, well, we've only got 60 miles, so there's no percent. I was going to fast forward time, or sleep. But we won't. And it looks like the screenshot's going to be a nighttime one. Which sucks. Maybe I'll just take it along here then. Maybe just something like this. Alrighty, that's the screenshot taken. Bit of a pain, I had to switch the beacons off. For whatever reason, when you go into photo mode, some of you may or may not know this, some beacons have the actual physical light itself. The krona, it's called. But that's not the physical light, the krona is what you visually see. Anyway, that's like two, three foot above the beacons, even the ones on the front uh, bumper guard they were the same issue so the speed limit's 50k around here well, actually no that would be miles now it will show me oh rock on that's surprising this year long here is a bit slower I thought normally oh 120 70 miles an hour really jeez highway speeds are motorway speed the nest so it take us too long cruising. Now I was flicking through the trailers that I've got and I was shocked at some of them, the detail. Of course this Jazzy Cat's pack predominantly. This trailer, like I say, it's not from there. Indicate over to this one. I love the orange light as you go past on the street lights. That's pretty darn cool, that's what I was trying to get in the video, or the picture. Oh, that would be perfect if I got it on a lightning strike. That would have been amazing. Oh, okay, that was misleading. I thought that carried on. So we're pretty much here, I think. Hopefully. No, I apologise that it was a rainy one, but hey, does it feel like Britain? <laughs> oh, is that a police force? Sweet. Yeah, it is. It's the Popo! Get him behind it. Whoa, why am I indicating? Oh, this is kind of cool. 
<laughs> Going through here. That does look pretty darn neat. And up and over the down the hill you can get a quite a lot of speed off of this. Of course I'm not accelerating now. Actually we'll try and keep the speed because of the going up part. That's where a cop or police officer, whatever you want to call them. I, I think would turn a blind eye for you give Cameron's speed up. As long as you were safe. Because, yeah, it's better than slowing down traffic too much. How much further we got? 23 miles, not too bad. Oh, this is kind of tight. Actually, we can go more over here. Lots of tunnels. A heck of a lot of tunnels. Do I need to change lanes? I do believe I do. Another G-Wagon. I'm surprised there's no Land Rovers in the traffic. That'd be kind of neat. Oh, we're here, Amsterdam. Oh, I could have stayed in that lane. Never mind. I do need that lane. Come on. Whatever you are. You are a Peugeot. Can't remember which one. Jeez, I said like, what? 33 miles last time I looked? Even up the miles, just even it up. Now this video, I'm thinking I will set this live around 10, 11 o'clock. Something like that. And we'll just let the momentum of the truck take us around. I don't know what parking this beast is going to be like. That may be interesting. I was kind of hoping you were going to let me in. Oh, come off a dude. I'm halfway across and you're trying to accelerate past. I uh, gotta love it when they do that stupid stuff. I think that was another truck as well, actually. Uh, a place of parking looks like it's a big warehouse, so it shouldn't be too hard. Now, the way these are, the steer in there, it's awesome. Hmm, flashing amber lights. Stuff means the traffic lights are out, I believe. Probably because of the thunderstorm. Ooh, this is tight. Nice little way of slowing people down, I guess. Industrial estate by the looks of it. So we do have a repair spot over there, which is actually handy. That may be a... That's a daft dealership. Awesome. We get to discover that at the same time. So I'll be doing that off camera. Because there is a pack, a lighting pack that I've downloaded that I wouldn't mind giving a try. See if it's going to break anything. Never know with mods. Alright, yes, I want... Ooh, the XP. Ooh. This may be an interesting one. Oh yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. What we got here? Uh, the Chrome Big Pack Baler. And what looks to be a powerful wind turbine. 
So the thing is with this is you can just turn tight and the train is going to follow. It's about there. This is where I would love to have some decent reverse lights. So you can see what's going on back there. Oh, come on, lightning. Strike again. It was nice I could see what was going on. Now we're backing up with these trailers, it's, as I said in the video last weekend, I think it was the Heavy Hold Day video. That. They're weird because they back up and they snap around. It's just something you do not expect. Like there. I think I should get this. Yep, perfect. Beacons off. Lights off. Engine off. Hit D. And we should be good. So we burn 70.9 gallons quite a bit. 210 miles. Time took 17 hours, wow. But it bought in 15k, that's a good amount of money, we needed that. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this trip with the Big Bow from Manchester to Amsterdam. Until next time, catch you guys tomorrow for a farm sim video. And we will be live streaming later at 7pm until probably about half 8. See ya.